Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be continuing the work on these three bar GT40 iron heads. And as you saw in the last video, we've already went through and cleaned up the valve seats and overall went through the heads, made sure they were rust free and even ground out the rim of the combustion chamber just to get rid of sharp edges and things like that. Well, today we're going to be looking at the valves and make sure that they're okay. Now, I already have some suspicions that they might be slightly bent just from how they didn't exactly remove that cleanly from the head, but we're gonna make sure about that today. And just to recap, these heads were purchased from Craigslist for around $150. They came with 1.7 ratio rockers, so it was a pretty good deal. And you know, in the spirit of Craigslist, we just need to make sure that everything's okay with these before we bolt them on and have a huge problem. So let's verify these valves don't need to be replaced or if they do. All right, stay tuned. When I removed the valves, I wanted a good way to store them without getting them unorganized and unmatched from the head that they belong to. So I just went ahead and made this simple kind of tray out of wood and just numbered it, number one, number two. Those numbers correspond to numbers that I put on the freeze plugs. This one has a two, so we know the back section goes there. And these valves will start at this combustion chamber here. And this is our number one, so number one, right here and these valves will start at that combustion chamber real simple but something you should definitely do now before we actually test the valves i want to tell you why i have suspicions of them being bent at least some of them well some pulled out of the heads really easily others didn't in fact i had to use a nail set to get some of the valves out that means i was tapping on the end of the valve stem to get it through now that usually means that you know there's there's going to be a bend somewhere in the valve stem you know if it's not just falling out of the head or being able to you know just be pulled out with not much effort there's probably going to be a bend slight bend in there somewhere so that's what i'm worried about and we're going to put these through a little test i've invented I'm not sure it's the best test you know to do but I don't know. I, I think it's kind of a good way. So sometimes you have to do these things and then let the internet tell you you're stupid before you know there's a better way. And quite honestly, I haven't researched anything. This just kind of popped into my head. So um, we're going to give it a shot. If you have any negative things to say about it, please feel free. If you have any positive things to say about it, also feel free. Um, anyway, I hope you're entertained. And voila, here it is. This is our valve testing machine. This is the 17 inch jet drill press. This is a piece of precision tool greatness. And this is gonna help us determine if our valves are bent or not. Now you might be thinking, well, how do you know the machine is set up correctly? Well, I know for sure because I'm the one who set it up and uh, I use it to drill these out. And as you can see, these are very, very nice holes here. So don't get it in your head that this machine could somehow be flawed because it's not okay this thing is good so we're gonna test the valves and i'll show you how and if you haven't figured out where i'm going with this let me show you simply going to chuck up these valves and look for any wobble that they might have this is one of our exhaust valves so i'm going to give you a better view here but i'm just going to spin the drill up and if we have a wobble on our valve here, we know we probably have a bent stem. If it's nice and you know circular, we're probably okay. I'm expecting a slight wobble in all of these, but we're really looking for a major one. That's really gonna tell the tale if we have a bent valve. Let's spin up our first valve. This is an exhaust valve, remember? Let's see how it turns. And that turns pretty good. You can kind of see a slight wobble to it, but overall that's pretty good. I'm not too concerned about the exhaust valve. Those all seemed okay. It was really the intake valves that I thought might be bent. So let's put one of those in and then see what happens. This is an intake valve. Let's see how this spins. And that one is looking pretty good. So we have a good point of reference using this one. That looks to be just fine. All right, here's our second intake valve. Let's how, see how this one goes. Whoa. Wow, look at that. That is definitely bent. I mean, compare that with the one we just saw. We can definitely see some wobble in this. That is a bent intake valve. 
Okay, here's our second intake valve. Not as bent as the last one, but still clearly bent. Uh, you can definitely see a wobble there. Not looking good. Okay, here's our fourth intake valve. And this one doesn't look too bad. It looks a lot like the first one we did. So this one's probably okay too. And after further testing, it turns out only two of the intake valves appeared to be okay. The others had a decent amount of wobble, much like that second one we tested. So the intake valves are shot. I don't know what happened to this guy's engine, because the exhaust valves seem to be okay. Uh, maybe he's just running too big a valve on the intake side. I don't know. Either way, it leads me to believe that these heads, you know, might have other damage. Maybe they're, you know, need to be planed down. So I guess I'm going to have to get these to the machine shop and just make sure they're okay because I do not want to go through a head change and have these not work. That's just too much work. I don't have the time to waste. So we're going to have to go through some extra steps in verifying that. And, um, you know, if you don't have a 17 inch drill press at home, I completely understand. You can, you don't need one to do what I did. Um, really all you need is a hand drill just like this and maybe a vise or something that you can stabilize the hand drill with. You just don't want the drill moving at all when you're conducting this test because really you're just looking for wobble and any inputs that are not strictly limited to the drill spinning, you know, are going to throw off your observations. So just make sure you have a you know, nice stable platform if you're going to try it like this. And really you only need to do this. I mean, the heads were off the car. So there's, you know, a few other ways I could have gone about verifying if the valves are bent, obviously measuring and stuff like that. But I just thought this was kind of a cooler, more visual way to check and make sure that the valves were straight. Obviously not. They're, they're bent. So we're, we're a little screwed there. But anyway, if this was helpful or entertaining, hit the subscribe button. It does help motivate me to make more videos like this. I think, you know, overall, I'm going to show kind of the, you know, the Craigslist purchase to car install, that whole story here. Um, so anyway, if you want to see me do all that, hit subscribe. All right, take care.